Chris Dyerwalt is our Fox News digital politics editor. Chris, uh, put this in perspective. Well, the pun, I think, has thrown me, Counselor. I'm not sure if I can get back on track. No, the, look, this is uh, the, the, the horn is blowing, or maybe since it's Florida, it's the conch. Uh, they're blowing the conch, and it's the retreat. What's going to happen now, and you can bet on it, whatever the parties say, they're politicians. They make stuff up. The, the Republicans will say, we're going to win everything. Democrats say, we're going to lose everything, or uh, that Reverse we're fine, it. this is no big deal. Yeah. What is going to happen, though, is that for Democrats who are in in marginally Obama-friendly districts, districts that the president's carried, and in states the president carried, or at least carried one time, are going to see this and say, uh-oh, because Alex Sink was a very good candidate. The Democrats worked hard to get her. They cleared the field for she was they poured. She was fairly moderate. They poured the money in. Bill Clinton got on the phone for her. They put a lot of effort into this race. Because she said, we're going to fix Obamacare. We're going to fix it. Exactly. So... If you're Kay Hagan in North Carolina, or you're Gary Peters in Michigan, or you are any of these fair or more moderate blue state Democrats who are looking at this and saying this is bad news because the messaging that was promised didn't work. If you think back to what happened in the fall when the president's lie of the year debacle blew up, uh, Mary Landrieu and a couple other Democrats started pushing pretty hard, and the White House said, hey, be cool. This is going to work out. We have a plan. We're going to get the website fixed. We're going to enroll all the people and it's going to be okay. Well, now, as we see that they're not going to get the numbers they need and there's problems with the health law, you have this clear shot, this, this quick statistical glance at what the electorate looks like for the year. And if this is what the electorate's shaping up to be in a swing county of a swing state, well, the Democrats have bigger problems maybe even than in 2010. All right, so let's, well, I want to talk to you about this because Chris has been on our decision desk on election night. He's one of these guys who knows all these counties. He can run the numbers. He can do projections. He understands these, these local policies politics as well as national politics. And when I see that, as Nancy Pelosi po points out, this seat was held by a Republican for the last 58 years, I think, all right, well, of course the Republican was probably going to win this in a special election. And then on the other hand, I see Larry Sabato saying it leaned Democratic. Why? How did we get into that position? Uh, the Congressman Young, who held the seat since the first term of Richard Milhouse Nixon, uh, was a lot of those 68 years that it was in okay. Republican hands. Uh, the what happens? What happened here was the the county changed underneath the the political overlay. And what happened was you have a lot of snowbirds, a lot of retirees. You have all of those folks who are down in this county. This is this is a one county district in Pinellas County. And what you had were people who were trending Democrat. The trend line was clear and that's why they thought this was going to okay, be an so easy it had pickup. a long history of being republican but it was trending but mostly Democrat. with one guy yeah but mostly okay. with one guy who was very popular there so when the one, final question when the democrats come out tomorrow and even tonight and continue to tell us that this is no big deal and they were out and you know they, they it was a gop seat and so on to that the viewers should remember what the viewers should remember that this was a referendum on Obamacare. Very directly, both parties, as you said, put Obamacare front and center in this. Alex Sink tried a message on Obamacare that she thought would work. David Jolly stayed right on message, pounded away at her, and it turned out he won a race he was supposed to lose. Wow. Chris, thank you. You bet.